hello there welcome to my youtube channel my name is esther if you are new here thank you so much for tuning into my channel and if you are already subscribed thank you so much for your love and support i appreciate you all so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this clothes oil that you see in the jar so if you're interested in seeing that then stay tuned so i'm gonna go ahead and open a bag of cloves put it in my ninja blender blend a before putting it in a jar So after blending the clothes, I'm going to set it aside and then start with my oils. First, I'm going to start with my Jamaican extra dark castor oil. I will finish up the little bit of castor oil I had in the previous bottle. After that, I'm going to go ahead and open the new bottle and pour some of the castor oil from the new one to add it on the little bit of castor oil that I had in the previous bottle. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to go ahead and shake the jar a little bit to get the oil to mix together. After that, I'm going to go ahead and add the clothes powder into the jar with the oils. Here me yes, many the clothes oil to make sure it smells good. It actually smells good, it smells a little bit spicy. Okay, at this point I'm taking a spoon to mix it together before putting in the boiling water. After stirring it, I went ahead and turned the stove on to get the water to start boiling. Once the water came to a boiling point, I went ahead and put and I put the jar of cloves oil in the boiling water so that it can begin the infusion process. I let the oil infuse in the boiling water for 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes was up, I took the oil out of the water. So this is the finished product. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna set it on the counter top and let it cool down for about an hour before transferring it into my applicator bottle. Mm -hmm. Once the cloves oil cooled down. I went ahead and I transferred it into my applicator bottle. I used a sifter to sift out the pallor of the cloves so it didn't get transferred into the oil that was going into the applicator bottle. I did not have a funnel to measure the oil so it was a good thing that I had a plastic bag on in the bottle. Otherwise, the oil will have spilled on the counter top instead of the plastic bag. I went ahead and I used uh, the same spoon that I used to stir the oil previously and I used that to scoop up the rest of the oil from the plastic bag and into the um, applicator bottle.
the oil that was in the applicator bottle was too much so i went ahead and i put some back in the jar so that it wouldn't spill so the oil that was in the applicator bottle wouldn't spill over afterwards i went ahead and i used a paper towel to clean the um the outside of the bottle where the oil has spilled and then i went ahead and cleaned my can on top When that was done, I went ahead and added my essential oil, which is a peppermint oil. I added a few drops of it into the cloves oil. Once I close up the bottle, I'm going to go ahead and shake the bottle to make sure the essential oil is mixed up well with the cloves oil. That is the finished product right there. If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Thank you.